I'm going to claim something very bold. I'm one of the only people who's actually figured out what at least one alleged UFO crash part is for. So recently, I've actually, with my help of my friends, Mark, who came up earlier, remember we played the YouTube video from him with yeah. the spinning, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks to my friends, Mark and Jarrett, they're you know aerospace guys who are doing anti-gravity research. They're the real guys who are actually trying to make anti-gravity reality. Nobody's, you know, no men in black have killed them yet. You ask them, they're like, oh, you know, it's a good day today, right? Because men in black haven't killed me yet today. But basically, thanks to them, I got a piece. It's known as the art part. You know, Art Bell, Coast to Coast AM. Mm. Linda Moulton Howe also had this. So I got a fragment that's allegedly from New Mexico from 1947. And I've been doing material analysis on it. And I'm going to publish a paper on it, hopefully by the end of this year or next year. Then I'm going to print out that paper and I want to shove it up the ass or down the throat of every single skeptic and debunker because we found that that material is anomalous and discovered that the arrow report on this material was a lie. It was a whitewash. Wow. They didn't list half of the elements in it. They didn't list any of the interesting isotopic configurations. Nothing. Gary Nolan knows this. A few people know this who have pieces of the mother sample. There was a big sample. I only got a fragment of it. Right. And I was I developed a whole new technique. Um, a, a, I developed a new way of testing what something is made of faster and cheaper. You did? Th yes, I did. Than existing techniques. Yes. And so I, I'm, I'm hoping that people start sending me like actual parts. I can determine whether something is terrestrial or extraterrestrial. How? By the isotopic ratio. Okay. So everything is made of elements and each of those elements has isotopes, but the isotopic ratios are unique to different planets, different parts of the galaxy. Mm. Still doesn't conclusively prove something's extraterrestrial because a skeptic could always say, oh, it was part of a nuclear test and it changed the, uh, the isotopic composition. Sure. Right. But what I, can, what, I can, what I can demonstrate is whether something is weird. I know right. that's very vague, but I can demonstrate whether something's weird, whether it's anomalous or whether it's boring. Right. Like, oh, this is just a hunk of aluminum. That reminds me, are you familiar with the, uh, there was some sort of um, material with a certain configuration of isotopes that was found in like, in the middle of like nuclear blasts that they found that matched the exact type of material they found on Mars. Have you ever heard of this? I have not heard of this. Oh, so maybe we created it by accident. George Johnny was was remember this, Steve, when George Johnny was talking about this? He was he Oh, are you talking about the possibility there was like a nuclear war back in the day this, on Mars? Th this was his yeah. theory, but yeah. the, the hard evidence that he explained to back this up was that there was some sort of uh material with isotopes that were found on nu in nuclear oh, blast yeah, sites. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I definitely matched, heard of this. That matched specifically specific isotopes they configure like you're talking Mars about the Mars. place. I know who you're talking about because he's one of the co-stars on a show I'm on, actually. The proof okay. is out there on the History Channel. Okay. And he's the, the Mars guy. I know you're talking about the guy who thinks that there was a civilization on Mars. John Brandenburg, John Brandenburg. theory suggests that the red color of Mars could be evidence of catastrophic... Uh, <coughs> but what's the... What's Xenon the, uh, 129. Xenon that, yeah, 129, that's, that's what it is. Funny coincidence. Remember, I use Xenon to look for dark matter, right? Right. So that's just a coincidence. Right. So what does it say? So Jordan claims... Cydonia! Ah, yes, yes, yes. So... It's, I don't think it's Brandenburg, but one of his associates, something. There's a guy who's head of the Sidonia Society, who's a co-star, and the proof is out there with me. Oh, so this is what the theory. So, yeah. so Xenon 129 is yeah. consistent across the entire solar system except for on Mars. Yes, 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 yes. So that we're talking about isotopic ratios. Yes, so this is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, is that there are unique signatures in different locations? Yeah, Mars is a problem, but exactly. But my point is, is that I want to look at the isotopic ratios. I ha I'm using a non-destructive technique to determine the composition right. of a material. I'll tell you though, so far, I've only gotten one potentially anomalous thing. Most of the things is UFO, you know, yeah. crazy people send me, it's a meteorite sure. or it's a piece of an airplane. So most right. of the time, unfortunately, it's boring. But finally, thanks to knowing the right people and being patient, I finally got a piece of something that's really interesting. Mm. And I have, and let's see how silent the mainstream media is going to be on this. I'm going to publish later this year definitive evidence that the government lied about this material, 
and published a whitewash report claiming it was not anomalous when they knew better. And I have definitive proof that it's anomalous, that it's strange. I don't have proof it's extraterrestrial, to be clear. Not yet. But it's weird. And they claim it's not weird. Oh, it's a boring piece of whatever. Slag. It's like, no, it's not. When is this coming out? I'm hoping by the end of the year. End of the year. Because here's the thing. Um, I don't want to get I don't want to get um gate kept past test. I don't want I want to get all my ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. I want to double check it. I want to triple check it. I want to quadruple check it before I submit it mm -hmm. for scientific peer review. Because what I don't want to happen is I, I want it to be perfect. I want it to be an airtight case. So like I said, I can publish the paper in a major scientific journal and then shove it in the face of people who have been poo-pooing UFOs for years. I'm sick and tired of them. Mm. I'm sick and tired of Neil deGrasse Tyson going out there saying, oh, it's all nonsense. Oh, aliens, oh, blah, blah, blah. What if they invite? You, you, know, it's, you know what I'm tempted to do? I could totally pull this off to get his attention. It's very hard to get his attention because I'm not important. Mm. I'm at an unimportant university. I'm not trying to be rich and famous. I'm at a low, I'm not at Harvard. I'm not at Stanford. Just to get under his skin, what I'm hoping to be able to do, so I've actually been working with Neil deGrasse Tyson's high school where he graduated because I've been reviewing their physics courses because I'm part of the you all been in the high school program, the university and high school program where there's they're doing college course at the university level. One of them is Neil deGrasse Tyson's alma mater, the high school he graduated from. So here's what I'm thinking. I was gonna go to the principal. I'm still thinking of doing this. I might start to do this. Be like, hey, can I give a talk on UFOs? and do this at Neil deGrasse Tyson's high school that he went to school at, get it in the newspaper, get it all over mainstream media to the point where he's like, who's this Matthew guy? <laughs> where he's finally forced to pay attention. That's amazing. Yeah, that's my goal, just to get under, get under his skin because I'm sick and tired of him claiming there's no physical evidence. Well, yeah. then what the fuck am I testing in my lab? That's not an eyewitness account. It's not a video. I have a piece of material that is not easy to explain. That's physical evidence, okay? So so I'm sick and tired of people like Neil deGrasse Tyson saying there's no physical evidence. Yes, mm. there is. There's Delphos, Kansas. There's all these alleged UFO crashes and landings where there is physical evidence that's been subjected to chemical testing. And there are evidence of anomalies. Just talk to Gary Nolan, talk to any, talk to Jacques Vallée. There is physical evidence from some cases. Mm. But if you close your eyes and you stuff your fingers in your ears like all the dogmatic people do and play la 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 i'm not listening then you're not going to see right. any of the evidence you're not going to see kevin's paper that that we talked about earlier that shows the tic tac could have crossed the galaxy in six months and nobody cares nobody reads the paper nobody understands it's right. insane <laughs>